Pure Regional Police has officially launched its festive ride program. The aim is to keep motorists safe from impaired drivers. Peel Regional Police, alongside our partners, remain dedicated to enforcing impaired driving. The laws surrounding it, educating people, mitigating some of the issues that we see in the community, and the consequences of impaired driving are our priority. Since November 12th, Peel police officers have stopped more than 10,000 vehicles as part of the campaign, and so far they've charged 79 drivers with impairment-related offenses. There's no reason to, to drive impaired. We have so many options out there, and of course the biggest one is plan ahead. You know, so many families at the holiday season, they have no one at the dinner table, right? That loved one is missing. And I, I don't know why people aren't getting it. Peel police organizers chose Chinkuzi Park for the announcement where there is a memorial honoring the lives lost by impaired drivers. When an impaired driver came through the community at high speed by his own admission, <coughs> he struck Rob mid-stride. and he was killed instantly. Among the names is Robert Crow Jr. He was killed in 2020 by a drunk driver. His father fought back tears to explain the effect one person's bad choice can have on surviving family members. You can imagine the sorrow of showing up at his door to tell his beautiful wife that he'd been killed. Then she had to tell her three children but it was a selfish and reckless decision. He thought it would be okay to drive. And that decision took the life of an innocent person. A beautiful man. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving Canada, an average of 1,500 Canadians are killed every year due to impaired driving. Nearly 64,000 more are injured. The festive ride program runs from November 12th until early next year and Peel Regional Police say that the public can help as well if you notice anyone that may be impaired by drugs or alcohol on the road to contact police right away. In Brampton, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.